Yeah, hello guys, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pokemon Gold. When we last left off, we had just, uh, saved the power plant because we got the generator back from Team Rocket, and we also got Missy to return to her gym. So, with that done and taken care of, we're now going to go challenge Misty. Woo. Oh. Oh. Fine. I was just gonna sit there and swim right past all of them, but of course I don't have what who was it, Gyarados with me. So never mind about that. Although I'm guessing this will probably be a little easier than uh, anything. Oh, another horsey that we can mess up. Another shadow ball for the other horsey that just came out. And a quick attack to finish it off. Alright, so who's next? Cedra? Where the actually got that right? Ah, uh, let's get that shadow ball in the way. Take care of it. No, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> well, fine, let's do another shadow ball. Curses! Oh yeah, it just blows me away, doesn't it? No, oh, maybe not. I don't know how I was confused Twister and I think Whirlwind, whatever it is, actually blows your Pokemon away. Although it does not. It always seems the same to me. Alright, let's get this turn out of the way and then let's go beat Misty. It's not like Misty's gonna be that hard, and especially with Akazawa, no one's Zap Cannon. Probably gonna blow her Pokemon away. Oh boy, oh boy, a Gold Duck, a Gold Duck! I want a Gold Duck for my birthday! Aw, one third of the way down. <clears throat> Two thirds down. Sucker. And a. <laughs> All right. So let's go beat Misty up now. I was expecting you, you pass. We have lost. A lot of Jado badges, but you better not take me too lightly. Yeah. I think I'm going to take you lightly. I, I can't take it seriously. Sorry. Now, yeah, level 42 Gold Duck. Nice. Guess what I got to say? Zap Cannon. Whenever it might actually work. <laughs> Oh, what's my luck? You never know. That'll probably be a goodbye, Gold Duck. Of course not. <laughs> yeah, at least got paralyzed. I'll probably kill him though. Way exile. Well, I can't use a thunder type move against him since quigs are part ground. So, uh, thunder's not gonna, uh, uh electro type moves not gonna work against him. 
I'm not saying that uh, was a flying type is gonna work either, but it's better than uh, using the uh, electric type move. A <laughs> downpour started. Bye bye, Quigzaya. All you did was pretty much help out the rest of your team. That's probably about it. Ooh, a Lapras, eh? Switching back out to Akazawa. <sighs> Get that zap cannon going. Oh wow, halfway. I guess I'll take it. It's better than nothing. Yeah, if you can tell, uh, the rain dance just holds power up water type moves. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty much the reason that uh, his, her, starts doing a little more damage than it usually should be. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <sighs> of course it kills me. Wow. I would totally use you know, but of course that's not gonna work too nicely. <laughs> Alright. Send out your Starmie. Yeah, because of course Starmie's Misty's prized Pokemon. Na 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 na. Didn't it hit me? Na 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 na. No, I did. <laughs> oh well. I got resorts to win attack. Just because when you sit there and use a two part turn move, it's not always going to necessarily work because you could. Have it successfully work one turn, but then the next turn it's not going to work because then you're going to have to sit there and do the whole confusing BS again. <sighs> Just all the way, I know. Leader Miss it was defeated. There you go, the ca it's a Cascade badge. Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Are there many strong trainers in Jodo like you? I mean, I'm gonna travel one one day so I can battle some skilled trainers. Nope. <laughs> they are not skilled whatsoever. Ever. All right, so I guess if I haven't mentioned it before, but uh. If you're wondering why we're collecting the Johto badges, it's because there was one area of the map on the Kanto region which we couldn't go to. And what we need to do in order to access that area, and uh, the name's been mentioned a couple of times, uh, what you need to do is you have to be all the gym leaders in the. Not Kanto. Uh, in the Johto region in order for you to actually gain access to Mount Silver so uh, that's why we're over here collecting these badges so we're gonna sit here and uh, you crackhead granny Thought you weren't looking, and then you're just like, "Ow, looking at ya, fuck to go." <sighs> well, 
Well, you know what? Not gonna matter. So I'll probably still kill all your Pokemon. Can't really imagine that all her Pokemon are gonna stand out to my Akazawa. <laughs> slow poke and slow bro, eh? Do 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 do. Water gun. Oh, do they know that their psychic moves aren't going to work on me? Oh, wow. Barely lives. Then again, that's my luck. That thing barely live, barely live every time. Oh, well. <clears throat> Though I read you move, I still lost. Yeah, you're terrible. Rain mines on. Plus, they work on another crack right here, aren't we? Oh, we were already fought her. Alright. Alright, so let's go talk to Sabrina. You're right to my badge. I don't enjoy it, but to me. But it's the duty uh, as a junior to confer. Badge on anyone who has proven him or herself worthy. Since you wish it, I will show you my psychic powers. Okay, so unless I'm mistaken, you actually enjoy battling in the anime or the cartoon show, whatever the hell you guys want to call it. <laughs> you enjoyed it so much that you sat there and you actually turn ass and co into dolls. Yeah, how fun is that? And I love how, what is it, um, <laughs> she had a vision of you coming three years ago, I'm guessing probably about the time uh, Red and Blue took p place, yeah, maybe, maybe not, I don't know, but seriously though, she has a vision of you three years ago coming now, nice. Um, yeah, I don't know. Either way, like I said, there is no way in hell she's going to really be able to take out Akazawa. Especially since Akazawa's dark. Love this. Love that. They're not going to be able to do anything. They're not going to be able to do anything. I really don't have it on. I'm just being a weirdo. <laughs> then again, when am I not a weirdo? And there's a surprise Pokemon. I like as I'm. <clears throat> Get off your Alakazam. Yeah. Booyah. Can't hit me. Can't hit Akazawa. Get out. Sucker. <laughs> Dear Sabrina was defeated. Your power. It far exceeds what I foresaw. Maybe it is impossible to fully predict what the future holds. Okay, you and you earned yourself spots. Sorry and receive the Mars badge. Mars Marsh badge draws all your subliminal powers. Although I failed to actually predict your power this much, I know to be true. You will become a celebrated and beloved champion. Well, I'm already a champion, just so you know. Oh wow, I actually did make a good guess on that. So, really quickly, I'm just gonna come in here and. Uh, I guess pretty much mop up the place. 
Because I really don't think it's going to really take that long. Carter King, the Fighting Jedi Master, is in a cave in Jedi. For no, I guess it's not going to take anything whatsoever. And actually, if you guys remember what I was talking about uh, back when we fought Price, uh, I don't know when we actually went to raid, uh, like raids first time. We passed a cave on the way there, and that cave is actually the Finding Dojo Master. But I believe you might might need the waterfall TM, or be able to use out outside of battle before you can actually go in there. Although I might be mistaken. So, before I actually close this episode out, I am going to come over here to take on Erica because it's not going to take that long. Or at least I'm hoping it's not because uh, I definitely have a sure uh, Pokemon that's going to be able to take them out quite fast. Or at least I'm definitely hoping so. Especially since I have the charcoal. Yeah, all this. <laughs> you can't even avoid any of the battles. <sighs> just make things difficult. You just gotta love it even more. If it was a doubles battle, everything would be so much easier. But can't really ask for everything or get everything you want. Bye bye, victory bell. I would almost say Vile Plume's next, but I really don't even know. And it's, it would just be a... Oh, wow. I was going to say it would just be a guess, because I'm guessing Victory victory Bell and Vile Plume kind of seems like an obvious uh, two to use. I don't know. <clears throat> All right, so there that goes. Twins, Joe and Zoe. So we still have uh, another four more battles lots. But like I said, it's not even gonna shouldn't even take that long, especially with how the first battle went. Knocking out her Pokemon and their Pokemon in one move. I can only assume that it's probably going to take one minute to knock all of them out. <laughs> and then... I don't know. Jump Luff. Nope. So now you're Jump Luff. Flame wheel, gonna take you out. <clears throat> da -da -da. Uh, hip hop. Nope. Take a top hip. I'm not even gonna do anything. Blah blah. Last Monsieur. Oh, I guess maybe not. I thought I was in the area of the other girl, so it kind of forced another battle, but I guess not. Alright, Paris. <clears throat> Alright, there goes Paris. <laughs> Not much else is gonna really need to happen. Execute. Not gonna take that much to take. Them out. Mm. 
Blah blah blah. Taking out. <clears throat> Parasect. Not gonna be that hard. Flame wheel, gonna take them up. Blah blah blah, took them out. Sorry guys for not talking, I'm distracted. <laughs> Someone. <sighs> Beauty Julia's out. <laughs> Alright, so let's go take on Erica and pretty much end this episode. Soul Dawn City, oh you're all the way from Jeddah, you say, how nice. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I was so not to lose. Jeez, you're full of yourself. But I'm pretty sure unless you have a water Pokemon, you're gonna lose. No offense. But we're gonna... Well, I'm gonna go take her out. There goes Tingla, I'm guessing. We're probably pretty close. <laughs> Tingla's out. Victory Bell. And I'm guessing she probably has Vile Plume too. Since I'm guessing her Gloom probably evolved. I wonder who would wait Tingla. I don't think it's gonna be a parasite. Hmm. Oh, blossom, blossom. I guess. Guess I forgot about that. Solar beam. Too bad you're not gonna have enough time to use it. Boom. Taken out. And let me guess. Now it's gonna be Victory Bell. I mean, Vile Plume. On Jump Luff. Okay, maybe not. I wonder what happened. No. Oh. Maybe she gave her Vile Plume to those little girls. Who knows? <clears throat> and with that, got Erica out, and we got Misty out, and we got Sabrina out all in one episode. Probably went on a little longer than I really wanted it to, but eh. There's the rainbow badge. Wow. She's actually nice enough to give us a TM. Thank you, Erica. You're much kinder than uh, <laughs> well, the other gen laners. Either way, I am going to call an episode here since we took out three of the gym leaders in this region. So in the next episode, uh, we will probably take on uh, Koga's gym or probably go visit the Pokemon little tower. And I didn't really want to come here, but oh well. So with that, see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and join me next time. Have a good day, everyone.